This is the story of one of the richest men in America, a man who rose right from the bottom and reached the heights of success all by himself. It may sound like something out of a movie, but this is all a true life story. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Mark Cuban, with a net worth of a whopping $4.1 billion, is practically one of the wealthiest men on earth. Aside from being a businessman, he's also an investor and owns your favorite basketball team, the Dallas Mavericks. Being able to buy anything and everything whenever he feels like it doesn't seem like he's going to be cutting off his expenses anytime soon. You name it, and he'll already have it. Supercars and luxury yachts are just some of the leisure he engages in. Hosting grand parties in Vegas and private jets are more like his passions. When you have more money than you can spend in a lifetime, this is what you do. And it makes everyone wish if only they had half of what you do. All this does sound enticing, but it's never an easy road to get here. How did this one man manage to reach this point? Well, let's find out. So how did he manage to be able to splurge at superstar luxuries when at the age of 12 he was going door to door to sell garbage bags? Sounds simple? Well, let's look into how exactly. For schooling, he went to Kelly School of Business at Indiana University and further did not physically attend classes as it was the cheaper option. It doesn't stop at that. Sharing his room with many others and living off of just mac and cheese all for the sake of saving money. Taking the determination forward, it was a painful and excruciating journey to reach the top, no doubt about that. The man himself only gives credit to sheer force of will and hard work. No vacation for seven years might sound like nothing, but try doing that while teaching yourself how to code and the only source of nutrition being a bucket of fried chicken. Doesn't sound so easy anymore, does it? Cuban is famous for establishing very successful running businesses, which include HDNet, Broadcast.com, and Microsolution. He was clearly doing something right to hit off with back-to-back -back success. Microsolution happens to be the most successful, generating a revenue of $30 million. He later went on to selling it for $6 million in 1990. Another one of his businesses turned his status from a millionaire to a billionaire when Broadcast.com was sold to Yahoo at $5.7 billion. This is not just smart business tact. He also happened to be very lucky cashing his Yahoo shares at the time when they were at an all-time high. Soon after that, the stock price for Yahoo came down to an all-time low. Now, he was sitting with a billion dollars in his pocket. Anyone else in a similar situation would think about investing money, buying a house, or a car. Cuban went on to do the same, but before that, what was necessary to him was to celebrate. He gathered his drinking buddies and partied till the break of dawn at the ever-awake party town, Las Vegas. Cuban told the New York Times, We just drank ourselves into a stupor. It doesn't end at a really mad hangover. He then went on a vacation with his then-girlfriend and now wife of 18 years, Tiffany Stewart's. Now that Cuban was done partying and relaxing, he finally decided to spend on real estate. It was towards the end of 1999 when he bought a property worth $13 million, which now would amount to $20 million. It would be a shame to call it just another piece of property, as it was a huge French chateau-style 24,000-square-foot mansion. What's surprising is that his family still lives in the mansion to this day, and it was not just by a whim when he decided to buy the mansion in Dallas. It was a full-blown mansion with 10 extremely well-furnished bedrooms and 16 bathrooms, which is a sight to behold in itself. He did not expect it to be just another palace, since it has all the gadgets and requirements you would ever need, along with a spa, a huge pool, and a wine cellar. His property ventures do not end here, however, as he went on to spend another $19 million for a beachside property with a killer view in Laguna Beach, California. The home covers 7,867 square feet. This very bold and artistically decorated house has six bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. In 2006, he then acquired another property, this time in Pittsburgh. This property spread across 168,000 square feet and was worth $6.85 million. He considers this one of the least thoughtful investments, but in his words, when asked what was the single dumbest purchase of his life, this is what he says. The dumbest? Let's see. If I could remember them, I could list you a couple hundred bar tabs with my buddies. 
When asked about the smartest purchase of his life, he seems to be very happy to answer this specific question. To this, he says, a plane. It's obviously brutally expensive, but time is the one asset we simply don't own. It cost him a huge sum of $40 million. The plane itself is extremely expensive, Gulfstream V business jet. This one purchase for him holds the Guinness World Record for the largest e-commerce purchase. He sure did his research, but did not spend much time working in the transaction itself as he handled it via email. The jet is majorly used for business travels, but also family vacations. So much effort for saving time that he is then able to spend on what is important to him. This leads on to another one of his grand purchases that we'll now discuss in detail, the Dallas Mavericks. At the time of purchase, he signed off $286 million to own the majority of the shares, after which the team went off on a winning spree and is now worth $2.3 billion. To him, this was not a business tactic of any sort. It was simply a passion project as he loved basketball so much, he was happy to be blessed with a position where he could play an active role in contributing. Cuban has shown interest in multiple baseball companies, but he has his hands so full with running and managing all his other businesses that he's not getting a chance to dabble into baseball. He has spent millions in building locker rooms and buying a Boeing 757 for his team, and millions more to give an upgrade on the arena. In 2003, he started a media house along with Todd Wagner, another billionaire entrepreneur. His life was not a smooth sail as it seems to be right now. He indulges in luxuries beyond any common man. Aside from personal expenses and running huge businesses, the man is known for his kindness alongside his wit and success. Cuban has donated $5 million to Indiana University at Bloomington. That being a big donation, he's also invested in small businesses. He's had issues with his league conduct in the past, and to make a positive impact, he decided to pay $10 million in support of women facing domestic abuse, plus helping them get involved in leadership roles. Throwing donations here and there, his kind gestures don't stop at just that. Cuban has made charitable donations towards kids with autism and other health complexities, which shows if this man chooses to splurge on whatever luxuries he wants, he's also making good use of the blessings he has by sharing it with others and not just hoarding it all for himself. He went on to donate to medical schools and establishments, which shows a softer side to this fierce business tycoon. This poses a very old time question we all wonder. When you have everything you could ever ask for, plus a kind heart to put his money to good use, what's the best part about being this rich? When asked the very same question, this is what Cuban had to say. Being able to do what I damn well please. Now that is a statement we all can get behind. Don't forget to subscribe for more influential stories. You never know when you can get your luck rolling. Let us know in the comments below about more video suggestions.